drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Curry! I want to touch on uh, the incidents in L.A. that uh, you know have been out there in the public sphere and talked about over the last couple of weeks. Um, I was obviously there at the time, and I just want to state a couple of things for the record. Um, and you know what we talk about here, you know, Gabe does have sort of supporting documentation for, and these are things that were corroborated by MLB's investigation, uh, which was part of the process. You know, number one, Gabe never tried to hide anything. Um, the incidents that happened, he reported up the chain of command uh, within baseball operations. The baseball operations group referred him to legal counsel in LA, and everything we did from that point forward was done collectively as an organization. Secondly, in those cases, I think it's important to note that, um, again, as an organization and you know, in concert uh, with legal counsel, we did approach the victims and ask about reporting these incidents to the police. And uh, we respected the victims' wishes with whatever they decided to do in that case. But I just feel very strongly about stating that there was never an attempt to cover anything up. At the same time, uh, for both Gabe and myself, we have used this process to reach out to advocates and people in the community that are experts in this field and try to understand from their perspective how they viewed those events. And I think we both come to realize that there were things we could have done better. And in that regard, I would point to a couple of things in particular. One is we did not seek their advice. I mean, people that we have spoken to over the last couple of weeks, we did not go to experts in this field and leaders in this field and ask them how we should handle those situations. I think we viewed it as situations where um, as long as there was internal reporting, which there was, and as long as we followed legal advice, which we did, and offered uh, you know, the ability to go to the police and uh, assist in that process, um, you know, that was what we did. And, and in talking to members of the community, we realized that that was an inadequate response. And what we've come to realize is not only should we have sought help from people who were experts in the field, but we should not have stopped with the notion of reporting these incidents to the police. I think what we've come to understand is this is not a situation where these incidents and what you do afterwards are just about uh, protecting victims, but really about supporting. And I don't think we did enough uh, in that regard. And I've had to reflect on that, and I'm truly sorry that I didn't do more. Um, and I'll let Gabe speak to that on, on his part as well. Um, I just want to close by saying that uh, we all took the responsibility of choosing our next manager very seriously. And a big part of that is the character of the person. This is not a job that's just about the X's and O's. This is about somebody who's going to be an ambassador to the community, a leader of the organization. And based on my personal experience with Gabe, I feel very strongly he can be that kind of person and leader for us. I think that's what we as an organization collectively came to understand through this process. Um, and I'll let him speak more to that. But he's somebody that I believe in, that we believe in, that we're really excited to get out in the community and have our fans and other people in the community who care about this organization get to know. Because when they get to know Gabe Kapler, I'm just very confident and excited that it's going to be the start of a tremendous partnership and that he's going to lead us into the future in a way that our fans and our organization can be really proud of. So I mentioned um, my mom and dad. They, they weren't able to be here today. But I leaned on my mom pretty heavily through this process. And for for pretty obvious reasons. Um, I think if I could go back and do some of the, the Dodgers stuff different, I probably would have called my mom and asked her a few more questions about, about which, which steps to take. And to, to Farhan's point, figuring out ways to, to support even better. And I think this is the right time to say that I'm sorry that I didn't make all the right moves. I, every, everything that I did, I acted on uh, from a place of, of goodness and from my heart and wanting to do the right thing. But I was naive. Um, I was in over my skis and trying to do things on my own when it was very clear that I needed counsel. Um, and I needed counsel from, 
from people like I've met in this community over the course of the last two weeks. Um, and, and going forward, I would be seeking out that counsel. I mean, the counsel that my, that my mom gave me over the course of the last two weeks was really meaningful to me. And so seeking out the, the advice of experts in these types of situations going forward is, is an adjustment that I, that I would immediately um, make. Uh, Farhan, you mentioned uh, earlier today and during this press conference that there's some facts that you guys know that, and also that were corroborated by investigation by MLB. Mainly this whole sort of controversy, if you want to call it, started because of an article in the Washington Post. Uh, so the first part of my question is, is there anything about that story that you guys dispute? And then you've talked a lot about seeking counsel. It seems like you were really depending on legal counsel, and you feel like they should shoulder some more of the blame that is kind of going toward you guys right now. Um, well, I really just want to speak for myself, um, and I, I know Gabe wants to speak for himself, and it's important for me, and it's been an important part of this process for me to take accountability to Anne's point that I was aware of what was happening, and I thought that what how, the way we handled it was appropriate and enough, and I know now that it wasn't. And um, so I can just speak for myself on that. Um, you know, uh, Gabe does have a lot of uh, documentation and support for what we've talked about in terms of, uh, you know, the fact that he uh, was transparent, uh, reporting things up through the organization, also that uh, we did. Um, offer to go to the police or assist in, in helping to go to the police. And I'm not sure those were facts were made very clear uh, in those articles. There are also more details that I don't think it's appropriate getting into now, but we're happy to talk about offline. Um, and I think Gabe would very much look forward to Absolutely. clearing the record uh, about what was in those articles and what we know to be different and what we can support with documentation. So I would welcome us doing that offline. Um, <coughs> I don't know if you want to add anything. The only thing I'd add is is to echo the sentiment sentiment of accountability. Um, I and I'll speak for myself as well. I, I don't think that that I did enough, um, and we've talked about some of the ways that that I could have been better in those situations. Um, I have a lot of remorse for that. I, I I wish I I would have been more informed. I wish I would have gotten more informed, and I take responsibility for not not taking those steps. I don't blame. There's I, I, you kind of ask the question about legal counsel like I, my responsibility in the in the issue was my responsibility in the issue and that was to ask more questions it was to get more counsel it was to not naively think that that I was in a position where I could I could help in in the specific ways that that came up in in that article hey Gabe and Farhan uh, Mark Sanchez from Can BR. Uh, going back to the 2015 incidents, uh, you said you sought out, or you should have sought out, experts' opinions on, on what to do. What did they tell you you should have done next? Like, where, what was the next step that you should have done? You want me to take it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll, I'll add. Sure. Um, I think the, fir the first step is to, to ask more questions. Um, so, you know, op openly and directly, I wasn't prepared to facilitate anything. I, w I wasn't prepared to be as supportive to the victims as, as I could have been. The only way for me to prepare would have been to ask for the counsel of experts in the field. And what that counsel probably would have been, and again, this is a little bit of speculation, but I'm guessing it would have been to, to step aside. and let people who are much more equipped to handle these situations handle them. And, and I, like I said, I, I naively um, and perhaps even arrogantly thought that I could, I could be impactful and help. And I was just over my skis. That's, I, I didn't do as good a job as I could have. And, and now, now I know that the best action steps for me to take would have been to seek out the counsel and, and the expert opinion of, of a lot of people who are devoted to these these issues and I think that would have been the counsel that I would have gotten was to do more of that um, yeah I would just add that when that 2015 incident took place the MLB protocol wasn't in place um, that was still a time when organizations were trying you know whose recourse was to handle it internally the best they could and uh, 
I think it's been a really important and valuable step that that protocol is in place now because um, MLB is able to provide the kind of uh, support and expertise that uh, you know we didn't have or we didn't seek out at the time. So I would just echo what Gabe said that um, you know involving people who are better equipped, who have experience in these areas, um, you know, rather than just making inferences about what the right thing or appropriate thing is to do. Um, that, that's, that's what's come out of the conversations for us over the last couple of weeks. And again, I would just add, you know, the notion of support goes way beyond asking whether things should be reported to the police. Um, and I think we viewed that as very one-dimensionally. Um, uh, and, you know, I know and, and, and we know now that was wrong. And um, you know, it's been valuable for me to go through the last couple of weeks to learn that and understand it. And it's going to drive my behavior and our organization's behavior going forward.